Hi everyone, this is Amanda. This is my channel, Amanda Random, and I have a Barnes and Noble haul for you guys. It is a small one, but a very important one because I finally found a book that I have been looking and looking and looking for, so it's really exciting. I'm just gonna throw out some of the things that I did get, and then we'll kind of talk about them. Um, I found right now, my Barnes and Nobles had this. I don't know if any of the other ones do or not, but I found this big, huge bin that was filled with $2 items. And I mean, it was packed with different things. Um, and I did find this personal organizer refill pages. It's an 18 month calendar, um, July 2016th through December 2017th. Uh, weekly planner sheets, project sheets, expense sheets, goal sheets, reference sheets. Um, there's A to Z laminated tabs. And um, I was like so freaked out when I seen this because, yeah, usually these are like seven bucks. So when I seen this was for $2 and all the things I could still use out of this, definitely, definitely picked this up for a planner. And... Um, I actually found a, a planner, and I don't know, this one is just a weekly planner, and it feels like it's leather, and let's see here, it's one week on two pages, that's what this one is, and this was in the $2 spot. Now, the reason I freaked out when I saw this one was because, this is what the pages are going to look like, um, they give you ample ample room to write you know anything if you're what you're doing so you have plenty of time or plenty of space for that it does have a little perforated edges where you can tear them off or fold them up once you're done with them in the back it does have a place for notes um there's some contacts there's some maps so i thought okay let's just take this off and we'll see if i can uh Back this up a little and show you. Even for the $2, um, what I really liked this for, well, obviously I like the planner in it too, but what I like about this is you can pull this planner out, and I have my whole planner book, obviously, still that I can use, and when you're done, look at this really awesome jacket basically this already if you use your brads and uh, poke a little hole through here put you know you can basically make your own midori out of this your own traveler's notebook um poke some holes use some brads add some um what am i trying to say here some bungee not bungee some elastic cording just poke some holes and you have um, pockets. You have a, a whole book that you can use and even decorate the front if you want. And look at this. I mean, this is awesome. Now you have, you know, there's so many things you can do with that. That was just one of the DIYs. Um, I am going to actually do it and I'm going to show you guys it on camera when I get a chance to, but it is thick enough that you can put a bunch of inserts in here and use it just like you would, like I said, a traveler's notebook or like Jane Davenport's butterfly, you know, books. Make your own inserts and have a bigger one. So that was just an idea. But for $2, look what I got. I don't know why I didn't pick some up in other colors because even for the sleeve alone and what you could do with it, ba bam Okay, now as I was talking though, the thing that I found that I've been looking for is a book... Oh, I'm so happy. Um, it's called The Happiness Project. One sentence journal. And it is a five year record by Gretchen Rubin. Um, this was, like I said, I found this at Barnes and Nobles. It is the hard shell. It looks like a little Bible. I don't know. I just, I found out about this book and I've been looking for it for a while and I thought, how freaking awesome for journalers out there to, you know, well, we'll just open it up and we'll, we'll kind of just 
this is what the setup looks like. Let me get it a little closer. Um, here's January. And now it says for January 1st, what year are you starting? We would write 2017. And you write your sentence here. Just one sentence. And it can be about your day. It can be about anything. And each page has a different quote or different things on them for you to read. Um, January 1st was... What you do every day matters more than what you do once in a while. And I just thought, how freaking inspiring, how cute is this little book to keep with your journals. Um, I'm going to be using this every day. Um, whether you have kids, don't have kids, whether you just want to document your life and you don't want to get all artsy-fartsy in a faux bonici or a traveler's journal or, you know, maybe this is, um, maybe this is the way to go. And I just thought, this book is beautiful, for one. And for two, what a creative and clever way to just keep, you know, a, a, an accountable, like, day by day. I don't know, you know, put big things, put small things. Um, to, you know, the day that I bought this, I could write on that day. My first sentence is, Finally found my happiness project books at Barnes. So excited. Can't wait to read back through the memories. That could be your, you know, that could be your topic for your 2017 day that you bought your book on. And you just keep going. So then every day you write a new one. And then each year you write a new sentence on that day. And you can kind of just go back and be like, oh, on this day in 20 whatever... And I know you can do that in your other journals too, but like I said, some people don't like having big journals where they feel overwhelmed and don't know where to start. Um, some people don't like being creatively, you know, as far as people just like journaling and not doing doodles or drawings or, you know, maybe this is the book for you, so you should check it out. I love journaling and this is just another book that I'm going to keep on my desk so every day... When I reflect back on my day, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to write my one sentence. And when I am older, way, 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 way older, let's just put it that way. And um, I just think it would be so cool to look back on. And when I do fill this up, how cool will it be once I'm dead and gone that my kids will have these journals? You know, I always think about that. My kids are going to see my drawings. My kids are going to see my attitudes, my mood swings, they're going to see all of that. They're going to know who their mama was day by day by day. And I love that. I want them to have that when I am gone so that they can feel like, oh, look, my mom's right here. Here's my mom. I miss my mom today. Well, you can grab this book and be like, let's see what mom was doing on this day, this year, at this time. And just, you know, make them, just make them, make it yours. That's all I have to say about that. Make it yours. So if you are looking for this book, I know you can get it off of Amazon if you look. And um, also, like I said, where I got mine was Barnes and Nobles. I'm not sure about um, other places. I just knew that I could find it at Barnes and that's why I went there. And then I found these cute planner things for my $2. And I was just so, so, so ecstatic. So... Thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to mainly make this about this, but when I found this, I had to throw it in there and show you. So, thanks for watching. Go and find yourself The Happiness Project, one sentence a day journal, a five-year record, and do it up. Do it for you. Do it for your kids. Just do it to do it. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this inspired you, especially this right here. And if this didn't inspire you, go check out your Barnes and Nobles and see if they have a two dollar clearance spot because like I said it was filled all right thanks for watching guys bye